Hey, what is up guys? Today we are back with the, uh, I believe it's uh, 11th episode of this 2D platforming game. In this one, we're actually going to start putting some colors in there. Because it's getting a little bit annoying to just, you know, you know we have to deal with the same uh, gray texture and the gray cubes and all that kind of stuff. So we are going to create ourselves a texture using either paint or Photoshop. It's going to be a single texture. We're going to be using it for everything in our game. So again, um, I mean, we're not artists, we don't really want to tackle the artistic side of our game yet, but we want to put some color in there. And sometimes really simple art can make a game look great. You, you don't need to have like the big 3D models and all that good stuff. You can just deal with really simple texture if you um, have some good color palette or, you know, just some good color matching and simple shape sometimes does the trick. So I actually booted Photoshop here. Of course you can use paint, you can use anything you want. We're gonna make a simple, uh, say 256 by 256 pixels texture. And for uh, my texture, what I'm gonna do is really simple actually. I am going to take a rounded cube and go ahead and make a rounded cube just like this. I'm going to align the uh, stroke for five pixel or maybe 10, let's say 10. Again, you can make any kind of texture you want. Um, for my specific usage, for what I'm going to be using it for, I need to make it a black and white texture. And I'm going to be creating material inside of Unity with a little tint on it. So I'm going to keep my texture over here uh, simply black and white. So let's put that around here. And actually, you know, that, that's it. That could be my texture. Uh, maybe put some color inside of there say this one and then we go down like this okay so here is my texture I am going to save it and import it inside of unity now to save it it is quite simple what we're gonna do is you are actually going to uh, save this as a PNG and make sure you go to your uh, folder in which your unity project is in my case where is it at I've got so much project uh, 2d platform over here okay and then you go inside of assets Remember that assets is a replica of this very folder over here. So I'm going to save it as a PNG inside of asset and I'm going to call it um, everything texture. Of course you can find another name for that but uh, that's what I'm going to be using. So now let's go back inside of Unity. You should see your texture right over here actually and then we can move it around if we wish. And uh, let's go ahead and put it inside of another folder we're going to call Artwork. So drag and drop this right in here, oh, like this. And then what we are going to do with this very texture over here, we are going to start creating materials. So let's go inside the Material folder, which is just below that, and we're going to right click on it, Create, and we're going to create a material over here. Let's call this one a Player Material. Okay, so for those of you that are not familiar with the material concept, it's uh, basically a container. You gotta put, uh, well first you gotta assign it a shader. Shader is gonna decide on how exactly you're going to render your object on the screen. And then that shader takes in a few parameters including a texture, uh, most of the time at least. Let's use a standard shader over here. Let's use just the basic one to get started with. So use, uh, well choose the standard which is there by default and then right here it says main maps albedo albedo is the texture we make uh, it's it's the diffuse texture it's the how am I going to say it this is pretty much just the main texture that is going to be rendered on your object uh, so go ahead and click on the little button here and you're going to choose your everything texture or any other name that you gave it and now your material should look like this you have a small uh, preview down here if we expand it just a little bit, oh, expand it, not collapse it. This is what it looks like on a object, on a sphere object. I think you can change it to a cube. There we go. So this could be our player right there. So let's keep looking at the other parameter over here. So we have the albedo map that we just put. We also have a little color picker right next to it. And this is actually um, this is actually a tint that you can give your material. So as you can see over here in the preview, when I put it on red, it actually just put another tint on top of my material. 
Now, if we put it on black, well, the material is pretty much all covered in black. So make sure you leave a little bit of white in there. And that is also why I didn't put any color inside of my texture when I made it in Photoshop. Because I can simply use the same base texture, so the one we made, and then make different material that are all going to have uh, a tint on it. So, say for the player, I would like to have some kind of a blue. Okay, so I found my blue. Now, what you are going to do, you are going to click and hold your material, just like if you were moving it around, but you're actually going to drag and drop it right on top of your player, like this. And there you go. So this is our first material, this is our first object that use our very nice texture, and it's our player. Let's hit play on that, and now as you can see we have a nice, well maybe not so nice, but I mean it's colored now so we, we, can, uh, <laughs> we can actually know which one is our player. Okay, let's keep going. Let's actually go ahead and create other material and let's also create prefabs. Um, if you remember, we have a coin prefab and also a player prefab. Oh, by the way, make sure that you save your player prefab. So click on your player, hit apply. Now it should be, uh, the, the changes should be reflected down here on your player object. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take these cubes over here and we're actually going to turn them into prefabs. So let's make some kind of floor prefab. What I'll do over here is, well, first off, I'll put my scene, I'll maximize my scene, just like this. And now what we are going to do is, I am going to make a 5x5x5 five by five by five cube, just like this. And this is going to be one of my floor prefab. So let's call it uh, floor, actually let's call it ground 1. And then we are going to create a ground 1 material. So create material ground one. Oh, you can also put the material tag next to it. It doesn't do anything if you change its name, but uh, just for a convention, we put one over here. So let's put one over there as well. Let's use the same exact texture we used before. So go there in albedo, choose the everything texture. Now we can drag and drop this right on top of our cube so we can see it uh, live while we are doing our modifications. Okay, so let's keep going actually. So this is going to be, um, let's say ground 2 is going to have a different shape. Uh, so maybe we can put the ground 2 material on it. So material, ground 2, material. And let's drag and drop this over here. As always, we change the texture for this. In this one, we're going to name it ground 2 and let's give it a little shape, a little different shape here. So uh, first let's reset it to the origin over here. Let's make it a 2, actually a 5 by 5 like this. Why not? Since it's a 2D game it doesn't really matter uh, what the Z is going to be but we can still give our game a little perspective. So let's hit play on that just to see how it looks. And as you can see, we are now we now have some kind of perspective, and I don't know I prefer it that way. So let's put these two prefab inside of our prefab folder. So actually, I'm going to create a new folder for these. So let's go down here in prefab. Let's call this level block. Or actually, let's call it ground block. Ground block. And now I'm going to drag and drop ground one in there, and then oops, and then ground two. Just so we have some kind of ordering in in, um, in place. Now these two, they have two different material, but that's not really efficient because the material is pretty much the same. So what we're going to do is we are going to remove the ground to material. Now as you can see, the object that had this material on it uh, now doesn't have any more material, not even the default one, and it's going to be rendered as pink. They make it pink so you can see it and fix it as soon as possible. So, uh, in order to fix this, we are going to drag and drop the ground one material on top of it. Now, uh, we can rename this to ground material, simply. And as you can see, if we make one modification, it's going to affect both of those. So let's actually put a nice color on top of that. So, uh, this is my player color, let's not use that one, but let's use a little bit lighter tint. So maybe, no, that's not good. Or a darker one. Yeah, let's go for, uh, let's go for 
a darker one actually so maybe this one can we still see the difference hmm almost let's just put it a little bit dark actually let's put the player a little bit lighter so let's go over here drag this like that and good this is pretty much what I wanted okay guys so um, we can do a lot of stuff with that okay so that's about it for this episode guys um, we imported a material, actually we created the texture, then we imported it inside of our game and then after that we uh, created materials and prefabs and yeah so with a single texture we're going to style our whole game, we're just gonna change the tint a little bit of the objects we put it on and then after that we're gonna keep coding some prefabs, some gameplay prefabs such as the coin we have a coin but it's not doing anything and we don't have any score on the screen so we're gonna code uh, that in a short moment, so maybe in three or four episodes, I'm not sure. And yeah, okay. So that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. As always, please uh, comment if you have any question. If this was helpful to you, please leave it a like and just subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.